Carry on my wayward son. There'll be peace when you are done. Lay your weary head to rest. Don't you cry no more. Do, 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 do. All right, hey guys, this is AJ Unlimited here to bring you another video. So this is going to be my official Supernatural uh, finale review slash just overall series re review. I, I never ever really talked about the show on the channel. I mean, I've talked about it. I've mentioned it, but I've never actually gone like super deep into it or anything like I have with like Walking Dead or any of those other shows that I really like. So yeah, I'm going to just kind of... You know, in in a nutshell, describe, like, the series and then how it ended and how I felt about the ending, etc. So, by the way, obviously this will contain spoilers. If you haven't seen Supernatural or if you're watching it and you haven't seen the ending, I am just going to let it all out there. So, just continue at your own risk, I guess. But, I mean, the show ended, like, three years ago. So, come on, you know, it, at this point. It's your fault if it's spoiled. I started watching Supernatural back in like 2014, maybe. And I started watching it. I don't even know how many seasons were out at the time. But I remember seeing it on Netflix. And I remember like one of my like family friends uh, was super into the show for a long, the longest time. I mean, it came out. It debuted the very first episode or season, if you will. Uh, came out in 2005. The thing about Supernatural, Supernatural is it's such a long, long show. Not only did it run for 15 years, 15 seasons, but each episode is 45 minutes to an hour long, and each season is like 22 to 25 episodes long. So it's a long freaking show. And mind you, I had just discovered Netflix, so I, I probably watched like the first two episodes of Supernatural, and then I like would watch like Walking Dead or whatever i think at the time i was like really into like burn notice i was really into uh, i don't even know like arrow and um some other shows like the office was still on netflix at the time so i was watching those i wasn't really paying too much attention plus there's a lot of movies you know that i was kind of like getting into so anyway i guess my point there is that i was kind of coming and going with supernatural i'd watch like a season or like half a season and then take a break for like a few months and then go back to it and the thing too about supernatural is that the storylines are so complex and wild and bizarre and it's so much to keep track of and like so many people come and go and there's all these like with there's all this weird terminology and greek mythology and all kinds of religions and like witchcraft and magic and it's it's just so all over the place so it was one of those shows that like i really had to pay attention to know what's going on and I'm why well, I wasn't good at that at the time. I actually have been diagnosed with ADHD so I couldn't like I couldn't follow along I couldn't keep track but I know I, I knew I wanted to watch it because it was it was a good show I knew it was a good show so uh eventually I just kind of started like watching like one episode at a time and okay so let's fast forward <laughs> so I think what really got me hooked on the show was some of like the finales like, I remember specifically the season five finale, like, completely blew me away. And I think that was when I decided I was hooked on the show. And, uh, of course, like, it wasn't long before that, like, Castiel was introduced. And uh, you had Bobby and, um, you know, some of these other characters. Even uh, Lauren Cohan was on the show for a little while, who, of course, played Maggie in The Walking Dead. And then, of course... Uh, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, who played the dad, John Winchester, played Negan in The Walking Dead. So it was all tied together. So, yeah, I got to, like, season four, season five. And then, like, the season five finale, like I said, was just, like, I remember specifically, because, like, Sam was possessed by Lucifer. And he was, like, beating the crap out of Dean. And Dean almost dies. But then, like, I don't know, they stop him. And then Castiel, like, saves the day somehow. He, like, heals Dean. I mean, it was, it, all I remember was just awesome. And you can't put a price on the, the those the soundtrack, man. The Carry On My Wayward Son playing pretty much every season finale, like in the intro. And then uh, Four Play Long Time by Boston when playing every premiere. Or, well, at least earlier in the show. I think later on they started using different songs. Like there was one one season they played Metallica, uh, Nothing Else Matters, which was really awesome. So, 
the music was great. That's kind of what kept me around. And, you know, just like the writing and the acting and all of the cool special effects. And like, um, it was just interesting. It was different. And they did a good job with it. I was I was like pleasantly surprised and pleased throughout the entire show. I mean, most of it was just them like battling demons and battling, again, Crowley, Lucifer, like battling werewolves, battle, battling vampires and like all these other crazy weird creatures out there in the world. So, I mean, for the most part, it was just like, it was just interesting. It was fun. And what I liked about the supernatural, the whole like... What, how did, like, the outline of each episode was, like, there was always, like, the A storyline, which is, like, the main number one big mission that they have to uh, do. They have to, like, do this mission or, or, or win this fight. And that's kind of, like, the entire season is, like, working and building up towards that one big boss battle. But each episode has its own individual storyline, which I really like. Let's just say, for instance, they had to, like, somehow defeat Crowley who was, again, the king of hell, and a very, very powerful, very evil demon. <clears throat> like, let's say it's, like, season seven. Like, every episode would be like, oh, Sam, we got a case in, like, Minnesota. We have to drive there and, like, take out this whatever monster, this, like, you know, this whatever, like, whatever it was. But, like, and they would do this thing, and they would have, like, extras that would come in and play certain characters just to be killed off, literally. And, uh, and some of them would stick around. But then, like, at the end of the episode, they would do their thing. They would get into a big fight with these monsters and usually win, obviously. And, uh, and then at the very end of the episode, they'd be, like, driving home or whatever, driving in their Chev Chevrolet Impala, uh, talking about, like, their, the, the big mission that they're still, like, thinking about. So it was pretty cool. Like, the way they did these episodes, like, they kept you interested. It, it wasn't just kind of, like, the same stuff over and over again. They kept you on your toes. They kept you guessing, and it was, it was brilliant. It was, it was really good. I'm gonna talk about some things I didn't like about the show, such as like them. They kept on bringing back characters from the dead. That made me really, really mad because it just it it killed the emotional impact. It was like, you know, they would bring these characters back, like sometimes even like two or three times, not just once. And it's like, okay, so now if they die, right? You don't know if they're really dead. So you're kind of scratching your head. You're kind of like asking questions and uh, I mean this got really bad in the in the last like five seasons because um, there was the season I don't know what season it was but it was the season finale it was later on in the show it was it was the episode or the season when Jack was born the Nephilim ne 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 yeah is that how you say it? Nephilim so basically those of you who don't know um, so Jack was <laughs> He was the offspring of Lucifer, and Lucifer had possessed uh, the president of the United States, and they he had sex with the, his girlfriend, who lived at the White House, and uh, they conceived a child, and so then Jack was born, so now he's half human, half archangel, and he's supposed to be like the most powerful being in the universe. So it was the episode where Jack was being born, and... Castiel, the angel, was killed off. Lucifer killed him. He stabbed him through the heart with an angel blade. And you think he's dead. And it's just like, oh, shit. Like, uh, Castiel's dead. Like, that sucks. And then the next season, in, like, the second or third episode, they bring him back. And what really bothered me about this is, like, whenever they lose someone in the show, whenever someone dies, they have this ritual where they burn them. They burn their bodies to make sure that there's no, like, you know, they can't, like, I don't know, just to, just to put him to rest for good, I guess. So they burned his body and everything, but he came back, and it was the stupidest thing. I was like, what the, I mean, it was okay, it's all good to see you, Cass, <clears throat> but, like, stop bringing people back from the dead, and they did it with Jack, like, twice. He died multiple times, and they brought him back from the dead, and of course, they did it a hundred times with Sam and Dean, and they did it with, like, Bobby, they did it with the mom, Mary Winchester. The emotional impact was just dampened. It was just, like, not that great. And that was one of my biggest pet peeves of the show. I was like, that just really bothered me. Like, stop bringing people back from the dead. Just keep them dead. Even uh, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, they brought him back for an episode. But that was different because uh, he was only he was only brought back for one episode. 
and it it was like it was kind of one of those things like it needed to happen because the episode was actually it was like a nice it was like one big family reunion it was actually one of my favorite episodes like like Jeffrey Dean Morgan so John Winchester was back Mary Winchester was back and then you have the two boys Sam and Dean and they actually have like a family dinner and it's really cool to see that but like at the end of the episode they had to send him back because we can't keep you alive because it messes with like the rules of the universe whatever so that was cool that was my exception my other big issue was the fact that they made God or Chuck like the, the the big bad villain of the entire series. That really made me mad because it's like it's God. Like obviously one of the writers on the show has like some sort of grudge or has some beef with like Christianity or with God or with religion in general. And they decided to make God like the final boss fight, the final like the again, the big bad the boogeyman and that really made me mad because like why do you have to make god the bad guy in this in this show you know it should be lucifer if anything but he they killed him off like whenever I don't, it was that was stupid so i didn't like that that was a major turn off for me in the last like two or three or so seasons of the show were kind of like all about like taking down god and everything and i was just kind of like i mean i was watching it because obviously you know i'm loyal to the show at this point i want to watch it all the way through see how it ends as the show like started to come to an end i was i was just kind of like becoming a little bit more and more like just turned off and just kind of like yeah this is like i just don't like that. it doesn't sit right with me like why are you making god why do you, why do you have to make god such an evil you know person or evil being in this show and not only god but like like Michael, St. Michael the Archangel is in the show, and he's, like, a, he's like super evil. And, like, uh, like all the angels and, of course, the demons, are like, they're all evil. They're all just, like, they, they hate humans, and it's just so cringy to, for me personally. I mean, especially towards the finale, but just throughout the show, like, some stuff that, like, Sam and Dean just should not have survived. and But they walk it off, no problem, and, like, the car keeps on getting destroyed, and then the next episode it's just fixed and ready to go. And, like, these guys are, obviously, once they find that bunker of the men of letters, now they're living like millionaires. And it's like, where are they even getting money? <laughs> like, you know, I get it, credit card scams and such and whatever, but a lot of it just didn't make sense. But I understand that, that stuff I can forgive, you know. But, like, there's there's some other stuff that I'm just like, no, no, that's not, that's not okay. The number one thing I did not like about how Supernatural ended was the way Dean was taken out. Dean's death scene was so stupid. And I was so pissed off. Because episode 19 was like basically treated like it was a series finale. They like finally defeated God. Which is hey, good for you guys. And then like Jack the Nephilim became like, like basically took over. And he became the new God or became the new whatever. And then like they were kind of riding off in the sunset and in the Impala. And they were showing, like, a montage of all the people over the years that, you know, I, I guess came and went or helped them out in any way or whatever. And um, it was a beautiful ending, the episode 19. But then there was still one more episode. And the series finale, episode 20, was where I started to have some problems. Because it was like, in the series finale, it was like, basically played off as if it's just like another it's just a normal episode of supernatural like they like it starts off like these guys are just kind of like taking care of you know chores around the house if you will and they're just you know what they're doing laundry and you see them like showering brushing their teeth doing stuff that they like they just normally wouldn't show them doing and it just was kind of just like super laid back super chill but i guess like the idea what it was it what behind it was like they're finally free this whole time god was like controlling them and you know they were they were living under his thumb but now god is has been defeated now they can just live their lives freely do whatever they want it's like okay i get it but then they go on this like hunt just a random hunt just like a, what they would call a milk run right they're just going to be in and out no problem and they were kind of like struggling a little bit with this particular like group of whatever these guys were but they you know of course they gained the upper hand but not before dean so they <laughs> so stupid i guess there was like some weird something like a bar like a something hanging out of like they were, they were in like old like house like warehouse type of deal and there was like a beam uh with like some metal piece sticking out of it like i don't know what it was but like they were about to win this fight and dean gets pushed up against this thing and gets impaled 
and he's just standing there and he's like in shock and um sam was like all right let's go and dean's like oh yeah no i uh this is it for me like and then like they have this long emotional moment dean says his goodbyes has this little speech and then it just kind of cuts to sam burning his body and i'm like what kind of death scene was that for dean winchester in this show that's ran for 15 years after everything they've been through, that's how they take them out? Like, I, I feel like they tried too hard to make it funny because there was some, like, jokes in there. But I was sitting there, like, like seriously pissed off. Like, the emotional impact was just out the window. I was like, what in the world? What kind of death scene is that? So, that really pissed me off. And then, of course, Dean goes to heaven. And, like, okay, cool, good for Dean. And he reunites with Bobby, and they have a couple beers. And then uh, Dean... Uh, gets in his uh, Impala and drives off into the sunset in heaven. And actually, I, what I really like about this scene is that uh, they played Carry On My Wayward Son uh, by Kansas. As he starts the car up, I guess I played on, like, the radio, but, like, the way the camera angle was showing the car and, like, the sunset and, like, just playing the song was, like, really beautiful. And uh, normally they would play it in the intro, that song. So when they didn't play it, I was like, what? No, come on, they got to play that song. And then they played it. So I'm like, okay, that's that's good. So Dean is happy, he's in heaven, and then we go back to Sam, and now Sam is just basically growing old, you know, he's still, like, going on hunts, but, like, you know, whatever, he's just all alone now, no Dean, he's obviously grieving, very depressed, and he ends up, like, I guess he retires from hunting, and, like, he's married, has kids, and he just grows old and dies of old age, basically, so Sam has at least, like, somewhat of a peaceful death, and then they both reunite in heaven, and they... Yeah, stare off into the sunset, and that was the end. That was the end of the show. And I was just like, like, they should have made episode 19 the final episode. Having, like, one last episode of them just doing random shenanigans around the bunker and then going on one final hunt, and then Dean to have a, just the most joke of a death possible. That really made me mad. So, overall, my thoughts on the show in general... A uh, great show. I would definitely put it on like my top 10 list of favorite shows ever. Very, very good. You know, the writing, the acting, everything was brilliant. It was great. Every episode made you, you know, made you keep coming back for more, you know, but, uh, but the way it ended, I didn't like it at all. I mean, I'd give like the overall ending of Supernatural probably like a six out of 10. This is just stupid. Maybe even like five out of ten. I just didn't like it. It just none of it made sense to me. I mean, overall, the show itself, um, definitely up there, more of like a seven or eight out of ten. But the the finale wasn't that great. But that's just my opinion, and um, it is what it is. I'm not gonna sit here and try to justify it or try to like go into super crazy details. Uh, so yeah, that's my supernatural review. Uh, yeah. I don't really, I don't have any much more to say about it than that. It was a great, great show. Um, and, you know, I definitely really liked it. It's just, like I said, the final, like, two or three seasons were really, like, just stupid. And um, the way it ended overall, I wasn't a fan of that. But it is what it is. But that's, that's my review on Supernatural. That's all. That's all I have to say. So... Thank you guys once again very much for watching this. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, you know what to do. Please like, subscribe, comment, email me. It's all there in the channel somewhere. If you need to reach me, any kind of feedback, I always appreciate it. Uh, you can always you can find ways to reach me anywhere. So that is it. So thank you guys again for watching. And as always, I will see you next time. God bless. Literally, God bless. Not not Chuck. I'm talking about the real God. But yeah, you understand. Once I rose above the noise and confusion Just to get a glimpse beyond this illusion I was soaring ever higher But I flew too high <laughs> oh, Stop it. It's not even not that good of a singer.